Hello friends, in this video I want to talk about the 14 hydraulic gates of the largest field canal in Afghanistan. Stay with me until the end of this video. This is a huge construction project, where the basic engineering activities are underway for the construction of 14 gates in Gosh Tepe Canal in northern Afghanistan by the AMUC. These gates are 4 meters long and a bridge will be built above these gates. In this place, workers and engineers are working on the infrastructure of this important project. A large excavator is digging or moving soil. Other heavy machines are leveling the ground or moving materials to other places. These construction activities indicate the large scale and importance of the project. These are vertical concrete columns placed regularly in the water. These columns, parts of which are reinforced with iron reinforcements, will be part of the basic structures to support the gates and control the water flow. Here is part of the ongoing excavation work. The area around the work environment is dry and hot, which brings its own challenges to carry out this project. The presence of equipment and manpower in this difficult environment shows the commitment to complete this vital project. This is part of Afghanistan's efforts to develop its infrastructure and improve water resources management in one of the country's key regions. These gates, once completed, will be able to help control floods, regulate water flow for agriculture, and provide sustainable water for local communities. This construction in northern Afghanistan is a part of an infrastructure engineering project, the construction of 14 electric gates for Gosh Tepe Canal. It is part of the extensive construction and infrastructure activities of this canal. Here are numerous heavy machines digging, removing soil, and preparing the canal bed for the installation of electric gates. There are special drilling rigs in heavy geological and engineering operations, which are vital for placing strong and secure foundations for gates. This desert, through which the Gosh Tepe Channel passes, is a sandy, hot, and burning desert that can create challenges such as heat stroke for workers and the need for special equipment to protect against the elements. The concentration of workers and equipment in this project is significant. Surrounding these electric gates is a landscape of sand dunes and dry land, reflecting the region's natural and largely unspoiled environment. The dirt paths and the soil compaction as a result of the work show the progress of the project as well as the intensity of the current activities. This project is important for engineering and construction and narrates a part of human efforts efforts to improve infrastructure and quality of life in remote areas. As progress and innovation, this project can play an important role in the economic and social development of the region. Construction is in full swing in northern Afghanistan, where workers in protective suits are busy reinforcing metal structures that form part of the canal's gate foundations. This operation is known as reinforcement and is done to create strength and stability in concrete structures. Here are several large rolls of steel rebar arranged and bundles of drawn rebar ready for use. The workers are strictly focused on the details of the work, and other workers are doing the same work and completing the work that is necessary for the construction of this building. Heavy machinery, such as excavators and drilling rigs, are intensively digging and working, indicating that the work is being done on a large scale and extensively. A large drilling machine called Soil Mac is used for deep drilling or concrete injection work, while other workers are preparing and combining different parts of the reinforcements. Due to the sand dunes on the horizon, these spaces are difficult to work in. The existence of this advanced equipment and the activity of the workers is important and vital for this project for the region. In this large and vital project, you can see the perseverance of the workers in dealing with difficult conditions which shows the continuous efforts to improve the infrastructure and increase the water resource management capabilities in the region, which can lead to the improvement of people's quality of life in the long term. Here is the construction in the Gosh Tepe Desert. We see large bulldozers working on sand dunes and leveling the ground for the construction project of this huge water canal. This huge project that you see is being done with the aim of changing the face of a desert and turning it into a practical agricultural structure in Afghanistan. Bulldozers, as representatives of the power of heavy machinery in this project, are engaged in smoothing and preparing the ground surface, which is the first step in the construction process. 
They leveled rough terrain and removed natural obstacles to facilitate canal construction. There is a lot of dust and smoke in this desert. These dusts are caused by the desert winds and the work of these machines and construction activities in the region. A set of equipment and heavy machinery are also working alongside the canal, which is working on different stages of this project. This equipment includes drilling machines and mechanical excavators that are performing various operations, such as digging and moving soil. The unevenness on the surface of the earth and the traces left by the movement of machinery indicate the intensity of current activities and human manipulation in this area. The activities of bulldozers and other machines in this area are an example of Afghan people's efforts to conquer nature and turn it into green and agricultural environments. In this video, we saw a view of the gates of the large and influential Gosh Tepe Canal Project, a project that is going to change the face of agriculture and water resources in northern Afghanistan. A group of hardworking workers and powerful machines are transforming a remote desert into a structure that can help manage water better and will be able to withstand natural challenges such as floods. These four meter long hydraulic gates and the bridge built over them represent progress and a firm will to build a better future. This project shows that with careful planning, collective work and optimal use of resources, even in the most difficult conditions, limitations can be overcome and great victories can be achieved. Currently, the work of these gates has reached here and about 50% progress has been made on hydraulic gates. As you can see, the first phase of the Kosh Tepa Canal has been completed, and the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan recently completed the construction of the first phase of this canal, and announced that the construction of the second phase has begun. The work of the second phase of this canal is supposed to be completed in one and a half years. It is very busy here. As you know, the first phase of the Kosh Tepa Canal is 108 kilometers long and more than 100 meters wide from the side of AMU Darya in Kaldar district of Balk province and has reached Daulat Abad district of this province. The water of this canal is completely supplied from the AMU river. Thank you for watching.